What's up everyone? Autumn here. I have a fun workout for you guys today. We are going to do a kettlebell leg blaster workout. So I'm going to show you how to work those thighs, the hamstrings, and the booty to develop power and strength using kettlebells. So you do need a kettlebell for today's workout. If you don't have one, you can use a dumbbell. That's totally acceptable. You also need a step for the last couple exercises of today's workout. But let me talk about the kettlebells really quick. Kettlebells come in different sizes. They also come in different materials. So I have a metal one here as well as a plastic one. So it's okay, whichever one you have, they all work the same. This black one is a 20 pound kettlebell and my purple and gray one is a 15 pound kettlebell. What you need to know when you're doing these kind of workouts, when you pick a kettlebell, you actually wanna pick a little bit heavier kettlebell, especially for a leg workout, so that you can challenge yourself. If the weight is too light, it's gonna swing too easy and then you're not getting the most benefit from it. So that's it you guys, I'm gonna use the black one for today's workout, let's get started. So what you wanna do is stand with your feet hip width apart. You're gonna place the kettlebell right in the center of your feet. Abdominals are in, this is very important. Abdominals are in to protect the lower back when you're swinging a weight. If you don't have a kettlebell by the way, you can do this exact same workout using a dumbbell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend at the knees, I'm gonna bend at the waist, I'm gonna grab the kettlebell. My chest is still lifted. From here, my back is flat. I'm gonna hike the kettlebell between my legs like football, as if I was hiking it back to get momentum. And then I'm gonna squeeze my butt as I power up. Every time I go down, I let that kettlebell swing back between my legs. So when I'm doing this, the force is coming from my quads and it's coming from my booty. And this is in, my core is in to support me and my back is flat. We're doing 15 reps. So here we go, bend the knees, grab that kettlebell, abs in, hike it back. Pop those hips. Contract your glutes at the top. Keep the chest up. Let that kettlebell swing at the back. Breathing. You should start to feel this. You're gonna feel it in the thighs. You're gonna feel it in the booty. Five, four. Last one, bend your knees. Every time you stop a kettlebell, you have to bend your knees to slow it down. None of this, not good. So those are kettlebell swings. If you were using a dumbbell, just real quick so you see it, you would just hold it like this and you would still let it swing. Exact same workout. All right, sumo squats. Legs wide, toes out. Same thing, we're gonna put the kettlebell right in the center of our body. Toes are turned out slightly, abs are in, chest is up. No swinging on this exercise. So I'm gonna bend my knees, they're gonna track out over my big toe. I'm gonna grab that kettlebell, I'm gonna squeeze my inner thighs and my butt as I come up. I'm gonna press my heels into the ground as I go down. So it looks like that. Here we go for 15. We go down, squeeze. And up. Always breathing through this. Focusing on what you're working, so legs and butt. So squeeze them, make them work. Chest up, shoulders back. Squeeze. And have five more to go. Five, you're controlling that kettlebell. Four. We have two more. Last one. Excellent, okay, I'm gonna bend my knees to set it down. Now, we're gonna go into a kettlebell lunge. So, I'm gonna hold it a little bit differently. I'm gonna pick it up here, and I'm gonna load it up at my shoulder. Now, if you have a bigger kettlebell, you don't wanna hold it like this, it would be very awkward, but because I'm using a smaller one, I can wait up at my shoulder. If your kettlebell is too big and you can't hold it like that, you can just hold it right here. But I'm gonna load up. So, I'm gonna step my leg back, abs in, I'm gonna drop my knee, Driving up through that front leg, squeezing my booty, contracting that quadricep, that's your thigh. Exhaling every time I come up. Fun part about this, my shoulder and bicep are getting a little work at the same time. Abdominals are working, core is working. Five more on this leg, nice and controlled. 90 degree angle in that front and back knee. Last 
one right here. Woo! Booty and quad are on fire. Switching sides. So again, if you're holding it, if it's bigger, you can hold it here. Just changes where the weight is a little bit. I'm gonna load mine back up so I'm even in the way I did it. Abs in. I hold my arm out to the side. That's for balance. You can always go on your hip, wherever's comfortable for you. Keeping a nice elongated torso, keeping that kettlebell held in tight to the shoulder. Four more. Breathing. Last one. Excellent, okay. Release it. Bend your knees. They're burning, so shake them out a little bit. Now, we're gonna go into a single leg modified squat. So, I'm gonna grab the kettlebell in the center. I'm gonna find my balance. Abdominals in. Small bend in my knee. So it's not a full squat. Let my hips shoot back. Abs are in. And then I squeeze and come up. Front, so I'm letting my other leg float back. And then I'm squeezing as I come up. You see that my chest is lifted. My shoulders are pulled back. My back is flat. My abs are in. And my butt and my quad are on fire. I'm gonna do three more on this side. We're gonna do 10 of these on each leg. Two, last one. Woo, booty work. So I'm gonna go other side. I'm gonna turn sideways this time just so you can see what it looks like a little bit better. So standing tall, abs in, finding the balance. Just a small bend in that knee. And then I come up and I straighten it and I squeeze. Front. Up. Find that balance. So not only are we working your leg, but we're working the core. Oh, five more. Front. Squeeze. Three. Up. Give me one more. Oh, fight for it. And Okay, shake it out. We got three more exercises to go. So we're going to a step up. So once again, I'm gonna load up at my shoulder. If you want though, you can stay down here. Let me show it to you once here. So opposite hand and leg. My foot is in the center of the step. As I step up, I'm gonna squeeze my glute and then I'm gonna come back down. I like to wait up top. Makes it just a little bit harder. Here we go, squeeze. We're doing 15. All of this comes from the glute, from the leg. Squeeze the core. So you see I'm taking a little bit extra bend here. It's because my step isn't that high and I wanna challenge myself a little bit more. So I just bend a little bit deeper into it, stick my butt back, pull my hips under. It makes my leg work more. Five, four, keeping the weight centered in that foot. Three, last one, woo! I said it was a leg blaster, I wasn't kidding. Switch sides, here we go. Three, two, one, we squeeze, we go back, up and down. You see that my back is always flat. That's important on any workout you ever do, but really important when you're working with kettlebells to keep the core engaged. Come on, keep squeezing. We have five to go. Five. Four. Home stretch. Last one right here. Woo, there it is. Legs are on fire. I'm sweating, are you? Okay, moving on, we're gonna go to a heel drop. So I'm gonna stand on the step. I'm gonna stay loaded up top. I like it up there. If it's not comfortable for you, take it down to the side. Abs in. You're gonna bend that knee, the one that's on the step, and tap the other heel, and then squeeze your butt at the top. So it's a little heel drop, and up. So again, 
You're sinking deep into this, hitting that quad, hitting the hamstring, hitting the glute, chest lifted. <sighs> Breathing. Very important to breathe through this. We have five more right here. Five, four, stick the butt back. Three, keep the weight in the heel when you go down into this. Last one. Oh, switch sides. So I'm gonna switch the kettlebell hand position, move to the other side of the step. I'm gonna start standing on top of it. So you're right off the edge. Here we go. Bend and tap, squeeze. Sinking the weight back into this heel. It's just a little tap and lift. We are sculpting those thighs. Like I said, developing power, developing strength, making it all work. This will not only help shape your legs, give you more strength so you're gonna run faster, you're gonna jump higher. Two more. Last one. Very nice, okay. One more exercise. Bulgarian split squat. So, I'm gonna keep the kettlebell in my left hand. Taking my right foot forward, I'm propping my left toes up on the step. Okay, lots to talk about here. Abdominals are in. You're tilted forward slightly from your pelvis. You're gonna bend this front knee, bend the back knee, you go down, you drive up through this front heel, squeezing. Back is still flat. So much leg and booty work right here. Thigh and butt are gonna be on fire. Again, you gotta keep the weight in your heel. Squeeze at the top. Back leg is just there for balance. Five more. Five, four, chest lifted, shoulders pulled back. Last one, woo, we gotta do the other leg. Here we go, switch hands, switch your feet. Bring that foot up, find it. Three, two, one, we go down, squeeze. Almost there, guys. Keep working through this. I know they're on fire. I want everything you got, and then I want a little bit more. Four to go. Last two. Oh, all right. There it is, you guys. Those are your seven kettlebell moves to do to work those thighs quads, hamstrings, booty. Now remember, I need you to go repeat that two more times for your full leg workout. It's okay if you didn't get through all the reps this time. Keep working, build up to it. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to show love, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!